Hey, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Thanks for coming along today. Um, it's about 4.45. I've been working for an hour and 45 minutes. I still haven't been able to get a video up past, I think what am I at, 19% or something like that. It's absolutely ridiculous. So there's no signal. I turned the Wi-Fi on and off 10 times, trying to get a better signal. Just no luck at all. It's November 2nd. Big holiday here in the Philippines. Yesterday was a big holiday. It's when everybody visits their family in the cemetery. It's a Catholic thing. The sun should be coming up in about another... Uh, start glowing about another 25 minutes or so. This is a big giant wall of clouds out there. You can see that up there in the sky. You probably can't see it with the camera. But... So the... the sun should come up over that direction there, a little to my left. But I'm going to drive probably about at least 15 or 20 minutes to find a signal, maybe farther. I don't know, I don't know where, where I'm going to go yet. I'm going to try different places and see if I can find a signal. There's actually a tower right here where I'm going right now, but I'm almost going by a tower. But I think that's where I'm getting my signal from already, so... It's just worthless out here. I found a, a satellite company. It's just so expensive. It's about 6,000 pesos, $120 per month for um, it's 12 gigabytes or something like that. That's nothing. And I go through 12 gigabytes, download 12 gigabytes of stuff every couple days. But, I mean, you could use it specifically for just uploading videos, I guess, or something. And the speed on it is upload two megabytes and download 28 megabytes, something like that, which is just <laughs> beyond slow compared to the real world, but that's, I'd say, 50 times higher than what I'm doing right now at the house. We're paying 2,500 pesos, we're paying $50 a month for, the, for our service, which is, again, Usually in the morning it's fairly decent. I'm getting about 800, 700 or 800 uh, kilobytes or whatever I call it of download. And I have no idea how little a tenth of that upload. Sad. Sorry, it's kind of blurry out there. It's weird condensation here outside. But I think the, I, like I said, I found the company that. I contacted them, they came, contacted me back a couple different times, and they, they told me they have service in Bohol, so... Once we get on our feet here again, I think that's what we'll do. We're way in the hole right now. But, uh... I, again, I can't, I can't even come close to Fort an extra hundred some dollars a month right now. And, and I have no idea how much it's going to cost to set it up. I had to buy all this stuff, like everything else here, and, and uh, I didn't hear, 
they didn't say a word about that. So, there this is trying to peek through over there a little bit. It's beautiful out this time of day though. There's hardly any cars out. I, if I had my choice, you know, I go to the Tog Balaran City or something like that, I'd like to I like to drive about, leave about 2.30 in the morning. If I had a place to go there and take a nap or something when I got there, it'd be great. Unfortunately, nothing opens up until 9 o'clock now. I think the mall, the ICM mall doesn't open until 9, 9 or 9.30 now. It used to open at 7 o'clock in the grocery store. You can go early, get your stuff, and go do your, your immigration or whatever else you're going to do there. Uh, now it's all 9.30 or something like that. The thing that sucks about that is it's 9.30, there's, there's like 200 people waiting to get in the mall. So then all of a sudden, and they got like two checkouts running. You know, it just, it just sucks. Before, you go there at 7 o'clock in the morning, they might have two or three checkouts, but there's only 10 people in the store. That's why I always went to Taliban at 7 o'clock when they opened up. And I, don't, I don't know if they still open that time or not. I think, I'm not sure if yesterday and today, they might even been closed because of the November 1 and 2 holiday. I'm not sure. Uh, our little gas station by our house, that was open yesterday. I was surprised about that. But I think the owners of that aren't Catholic. So, I think they're Seventh-day Adventists, if I'm not mistaken. They're closed on Saturdays. The other gas station halfway to town, they're closed on Saturdays. They close Friday night at 6 o'clock. Open up Sunday morning. Hmm. Ugh. I got my dim lights on, idiot. I must have high high low beams because everybody flashes their lights at me. You're just flashing his brights at me. I got my brights off, idiot. What a jerk. So now they have a traffic light here in town one at the crossroads that's pretty interesting in the fact that it's absolutely unneeded but I guess they're counting on so much traffic that they're gonna need it which is great they've been messing with parking in town making areas where, there's only a few areas where you can even park, and they made it so you can't even park there now. I don't understand what that's all about. Tog Bularen, the parking, they took all the parking off the side streets. Now you can't park, you can't park anywhere. So I, I don't know what, how do they expect people to come in and do their shopping and stuff if you're not allowed to park on the street? But, and they did it so they can put up signs and for towing and stuff, now they're just raping people for tow money, impound money and stuff. It's just, it's just a gigantic uh, uh, scam's the right word. I don't know. It's just, it's just, a, it's just wrong. Absolutely wrong. It's just like the same thing they did with the ATMs when I first got here. Uh, the first, it's something there. My first couple of years, the limit was 30,000 pesos to take out of it, most accounts, and you could take it out at, at uh, you know, one, one withdrawal. Look at these stupid lights. God, that just drives me crazy. The 
They've got no sensors on the road, so they're just on a on a straight timer. What a joke. See if I can find a signal and get you guys some videos loaded up. Please click like and subscribe. You can contact us anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. So, thanks again for coming along and uh, made my quick little journey even quicker being able to talk to somebody as I drove. So thank you. Have a great day. I'm sure gonna try.